Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here for Pop Turnative, speaking to Cormac Hyde Corin about Heartstopper, which is streaming worldwide now on Netflix. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. This is exciting. This is this is so a lot of people, you know, saw you recently if they haven't seen it yet, you know. <laughs> which um you play Harry on uh, Heartstopper, which is pretty crazy. It's been really exciting. Um this is your first like on screen role. You know what I mean? So this was very exciting for you and your family, your friends, your team. Um, what was it like kind of diving into this role for your first on screen role? It was crazy, like it's a big one to for the first one. But I'm, you know, so grateful to get it. Um, but I'd say it was like one of the most perfect first jobs I could have got, like yeah. um, with the whole production, the whole team around it. It was just so like inviting, so welcoming. And um, they really got like the best out of you. Uh, and yeah, very happy to um, yeah, be on that for the first one. Yeah. And I, I find it very interesting too, because Harry is a bully he's not a nice he's not a nice character at all yeah. the character the, the show has a lot of kind of wholesome characters a lot of kind people you know what i mean and then we see harry and it's like the complete opposite or everything yeah. um was it difficult to kind of play this character where there was a lot of kind of kind of there weren't many like antagonists or bad guys in the show cormac yeah yeah um I say it's definitely needed though, like yeah. that um, internal conflict on uh, an external to the characters. Um, but yeah, it was hard. Of course, it was hard um, putting myself in these shoes. But you know, obviously, you have to separate it a lot. Yeah. Um, but I was in year eleven at school, and you know, you meet people like that day in day out. So um, it's definitely yeah, like the casting was very good. Um, like caught me while still in year 11 while still um you know knowing these sort of people um i tried to just play as close as as that as i could really this is a question i was really like interested in in, in asking you and i'm sure a lot of the heartstopper fans from around the world did you originally audition for harry or was it open casting call i actually did um audition for harry okay last time yeah because yeah. <laughs> mm. you never know i speak to, i spoke to the yeah. other cast members as well yeah. some of them like i know Rhea norwood she did not audition for imogen yeah. right so you never yeah. know and everything um was it just kind of one of those things where you know did you know a lot about the role too like when you go in it's you audition for harry but you know he's a bully like do you know a little bit more or not much yeah we get like um my agent sent through the yeah. self-tape to do so you get like a little description with that um and after I got the recall, yeah. I read all the books after that, of course, um, mm -hmm. in like to prepare for the recall. But yeah, I hadn't, I hadn't heard of it before, but I'm um, very glad it's in my life now. Um, such a beautiful uh, books. Absolutely. Episode. Yeah, no, the books are amazing. It's interesting, too, because in the books, um, obviously, like the graphic novels, there are some characters that are in the graphic novels. Um, that are also in the show, but there's also like new characters in the show that aren't in the graphic novels. I find that a very interesting thing. Um, are you really overwhelmed with, you know, w w checking out the graphic novels and seeing it on screen? Like, what's that kind of like? It's pretty cool to see it kind of transform on the screen, right, Cormac? <laughs> yeah, it is pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, you know, like the bits where they do like borders on it. Um, I feel like they really brought that through um, for the core fan base yeah um, yeah it really looks good um yeah mm. there's a lot of there's a lot of scenes um with harry you know at the school and everything there are some kind of fight scenes you know with william's character Tao and everything i mean as soon as those kind of dropped on netflix they kind of started resurfacing on social media and on youtube and everything you know what i mean yeah. what were those fight scenes like those scenes where everyone was around like were those long shoots like what can you tell us about those scenes um yeah they were, it was pretty intense uh <laughs> yeah because i mean it's quite physically exhausting mm -hmm. the one in the cinema was actually quite a lot longer than uh they edited down quite a lot so there was um a lot more sequence in that yeah 
But the other one as well, yeah, so tiring. But like more like physically tiring, very much so. But also like emotionally tiring because yeah. I'm yeah because you know if you're when you're in a fight, it's you know it's just that one moment. Like mm. um, like it's done after a while. But but when you're playing it, you have to put yourself into that like mind frame over and over again uh for a long time but yeah the the guy we had on set he's actually a cool guy the um <laughs> uh the fight coordinator um he did a great job uh to keep us all safe and everything so yeah i have um, to tell you too i'm a big music guy like i love music and one of my favorite things about tv shows is like you find out a lot of really cool songs after watching tv shows because you're like what's that song and the fight with uh william with Tao, with Tao, like the Harry Tao fight, there's a song called Smoky Eyes by a band called Lincoln. And it's yeah. a great song, by the way. I actually like saw yeah. the fight. I'm like, what song is that? I actually went and like <laughs> got the nah. song on Spotify, which is yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> they did so well with the soundtrack. The soundtrack's amazing. Queen of the Babies as well. So good. Uh, Colors of You. Yeah. Um, me. Some really good songs on that. So many amazing songs. Um... The and I think this is the Netflix factor, but it drops on a Friday and then the weekend hits and it's just instant. Everyone is just kind of falling in love with all your characters, you know, and everything. And it's just been kind of global. It's all over the globe. You know what I mean? What's that been yeah. like for you? Just seeing kind of the overall reception of it worldwide for Hardstop. Um, yeah, uh, we the it had like a core fan base before we see the book, so it was like expected to do well but I feel like there was that buzz on set you know like it was it was going well like the yeah. production was all good so when it um did as well as it did I, of course it was like it's just more of a relief than um a shock but uh yeah nothing's really changed really in my <laughs> life too much it's literally it's just the number above your followers that changes really oh, yeah, absolutely life is just exactly the same um, for the time being, like, I s still haven't really been like yeah. spotted on the streets and stuff, but yeah. Mm. It, it was a really cool, it's a, it's a big production. It's a big set and everything. You know, when you rap Heartstopper, like even before it's out, d is it kind of like, what's the mindset? Like, is it kind of, okay, like I want to take a break and just kind of think about my next projects or are you kind of like, let's do the next movie. Let's do the next show. Like what's that mindset for you when you rap the show? Mm, I mean, I was, uh, I think I just finished my GCSEs as well when I just <laughs> finished the show. So it was a pretty good um, feeling to just relax after it, to be honest. Uh, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but uh, after the show, I, I rapped before um, some of the other people. Yeah. So like on the, on the way home, I was just smiling. Like I just couldn't stop smiling. Like, mm -hmm. cause it was such a beautiful thing to be a part of and you know, once it was done, it was sad, but it's just such good memories to look back on. So, yeah, I wasn't, yeah, it was more like a relaxed, like happy feeling. Oh, absolutely. And before we wrap up, Cormac, I just want to know um, when people get to watch, because there's there is a, there are a lot of important messages in the show um, and there's a lot. And I find every time I watch it, I pick up something new and I pick up new themes and everything. Um, what stands out for you takeaway wise when people get to watch the show? What are you hoping they take away from the show, Cormac? Um, I'm hoping a lot of young people find like security in yep. the show. Um, and like just, uh, seeing from uh, Charlie's story, you yep. know, go from uh, being bullied the, in like the years before and finding that person like there's there's a person out there you know what i mean yeah um, I found that person and it went uh so beautifully so you know there's just you know just secure like you're okay oh absolutely um, no that yeah, yeah. that that's such a good way of putting it there is a person out there it, it, it there's a lot about kind of acceptance as well and figuring out who you are because a lot of characters are just constantly figuring out who they are in the show which yeah. I think a lot of people can relate to as well, mm -hmm. which is really good. And no, you all do such a great job. Thank you so much for coming on Pop Turtle and chatting about Heartstopper. This was great chatting with you. Yeah, thank you very much for having me. Enjoyed so, it. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So Heartstopper is available now worldwide on Netflix. You know, if, if they've watched it, you know what they could do, Cormac. They could watch it again, uh, right? Uh, watch it again, again, again. <laughs> and um, 
people can keep up to date. There's an Instagram account, right? They can follow you on Instagram. Yeah, it's my name, Cool Mike Hydecore. Amazing. Mm -hmm. This has been Popternative, youtube.com slash popturn for previous episodes. Until next time, this is Cormac Mike Hyde Corman, who plays Harry on Heartstopper streaming worldwide on Netflix and PD Beats. Signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Popternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.